Hey guys, welcome to Windy Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you want to use the same image, don't forget to check on description list. First, let's make a background. To create a background, just click on new layer, double click, let's rename it as PC. I'll just drag and drop on the bottom. Let's fill the background with some color. So use paint bucket tool. And let's select the color, something like that. Then click. Let's add some print on this layer. Select the layer, go to filter camera filter and add some print like something like this and then add some vignetting to click ok so we created a simple background then let's make layer 0 a little smaller select on layer 0 and then edit free transform pressing on shift and alt and then drag enter let's drag and drop this image over here and just place it below our layer zero then again same thing click transform alt shift something like this let's add some element on our design so i'm using the simple shape layers that we have on photoshop for now, let's make it like black. Enter. Let's duplicate the same layer. Control T. then to duplicate you can just press on alt and drag it helps on duplicate too so something like this you get same thing drag control t Again, same thing, alt, and Okay. Select this layer and then hold and save. Then click Ctrl G. So that we make all our set layers into a group. Let's drag and drop this image over here. Edit, free transform. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, something like this. And then right click create clipping marks and then select this layer go to filter camera filter just make it like little desaturated so, okay. let's reach it down add a little bit of print decrease exposure a little bit and I'll just click ok here we have and then go back to our layer and then let's randomly change the opacity for these elements. Let's see how it affects on our design. So, so I'm just doing it randomly. Over here, let's add a simple element over here too.
go to brush using the soft brush Edit, free transform again. And then to make separation between our foreground and background, let's make a layer in between. And then go to brush again, black, let's paint it and then just replace a little bit of opacity. Okay, and let's work out on our main images. Just select this layer, go to filter, and then go to camera raw filter. Uh, let's increase the clarity. So let's drop down our highlights, increase the shadow, and then go to Hue Saturation tab, and then just keep our red, and then just drop down the value for all our color. Then click OK. So see we, what we have now. We want to get rid of this red spell on his lips, so let's duplicate this layer. Select this layer, image, adjustment, hue and saturation. Let's desaturate whole. Make a layer max and then click on layer max and then just fill with black. Once we fill this layer match with black, what it does is like it will make like everything invisible. Go back to brush, choose the white brush, and then start painting on his face. So this is what we get. Again, do same thing for our layer one too. Select on layer one, go to filter, camera raw filter, and same thing. I would like to decrease the highlights, add some clarity on this image, increase the shadow a little bit. I don't want any extra color. It's this one. Again, we want to get rid of this red spell on his lips. So let's duplicate this layer. Again, image adjustment, hue and saturation. Just desaturate all. Select this layer, create a layer max. And then let's fill it with black. Once we fill it with black, And then select the brush, make a white brush, select on layer max again, and then click start painting on our white brush. Maybe we don't want that pretty spells over here too. Over here too. On his ears too, I don't want that. Beyond this too, on the whole thing, I don't want this. I think like it looks good to me. Again, make a new layer, press, selecting the black, and just decrease the opacity. Okay. And then I'd like to fill up some part with some decor element, like simple shapes and stuffs. So go to
a simple text layer again. So click we edit free transform. Again, to separate this layer from the whole design, I'd like to make a new layer. Then go back to brush again. Just make it like this white. Change this to something like this. Let's change to this. Okay. There we go. This is the final result. So hope you guys like this video and if you want to learn something new and something different, don't forget to click on subscribe. See you guys in the next video.